call a beagle with no ears? Nothing! He can't hear you anyway! <laughs> Listen, I got a better joke for you. What did the bee say to the flower? I wouldn't know. I wasn't there. What do I look like, a bee's dropper? <laughs> Not even a chuckle? Boy, tough crowd. Hey. You can't blame a guy for phoning it in. <laughs> How about you call me back when you've got something funny to say too, little buddy? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. And then leave me well alone. What's all the commotion, fellas and fillets? Hi, Julie. Hi, Sally. Hey, let's Hi, Frank. Hi, Eddie. What are you? Okay. Uh, we go, little buddy. Oh, I'm up here now. Oh, that's nothing. Wally weighs three apples soaking wet. Here, watch. Mailman, put him down. Alrighty. I'm on the ground again. And... Oh, and now I'm up again. Life sure got its ups and downs, eh, Bell? <laughs> uh, but seriously, Jules, what's this new game of yours? It's not a game. I'm proving to Sally that Eddie can lift everyone in the neighborhood. Oh, why didn't you say so? Eddie, you should have started with me, seeing as I'm such a tiny little pooch and all. Uh... I mean, it wouldn't be much harder than lifting a couple envelopes, huh? Picking up a little guy like me, it's hardly even worth showing off at this point, when you've already managed guys so much bigger. But might as well, just so you can say honestly, you've managed a full collection, right? <sighs> okay. No, I think you're right, Cam. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> here we go. No, go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Little more. <laughs> yes! Oh, oh. oh, my. Oh. Now Barnaby's up there. <laughs> well, uh, I don't even got a joke for this one. That was impressive, Ed. Uh, you all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, just, just peachy, Barnaby. Thanks for asking. <gasps> well, I still say it's only just passable. I bet I can do it better. Barnaby, get over here. I bet I can lift you over my head. Yeah, all right. No, 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 no. I'm ending this right now. Ooh, let's go see if Eddie can lift Poppy and Howdy next. We can take home for the big not if I can lift them first. Well, I know what I'm doing with the rest of my day. Come on, little buddy. Let's catch this show. Eddie's going to lift up home? That's the most... Of it all. Oh, no. I don't know. I love everyone. I love my friends. Oh. Oh, well, that's right. You've got a lot of friends in that neighborhood. In fact, I think you said you brought one in for us to meet. Is that right? Yes, it's my best friend. He's my neighbor, too. His name is Barnaby, Barnaby. B. Beagle. <laughs> hey, who, how, what, hello. How you doing, Rick? Barnaby B. Beagle. Mr. Beagle, a pleasure to have you here. Hey, enough with the formalities. Beagle is my mother's name. Just call me Barn. Oh, is that right? She was a dog, too? Oh, no, no. She's a chicken. You might have heard of her. She's a real famous lady. She crossed the road once. She crossed the road. What for? To get to the other side. They're still talking about it to this very day. <laughs> well, oh, to this very day. Wally, you 
You certainly live amongst a colorful array of characters. It's no wonder you've come into stardom recently. So how are you two handling the attention? I've been destined for show business since I was just a puppy. Who wants a couple more eyes to the well-known comedian like me? As long as they're not throwing tomatoes at me, it sounds like a walk in the park. I tell you, we got a neighbor who's got an arm like a professional baseball player. It's not easy. Oh, <laughs> well, I've ducked a few tomatoes in my own time. Uh, it sounds like a handful, Pon. What about you, Wally? What do you think of all this newfound fame? I think it's just the most. Things have an order that their context demands. And everybody loves the way I wear boots on my hands. Barnaby, what are you? It's not even raining. Why are you wearing those? Hey, Croquet, the one where you ride horses? I'm the horse. No, that's Polo. Marco. Oh, why are you here? Came to get Wally. Hi, Barnaby. Hi, Wally. We're singing a song, Barnaby. Hey, I know one of those. No? When all you got is your fleas, you're down on your knees, that's a dog's day. Ain't that the way? Out. Aw, I wanted to learn the colors. Wally, I think you already know the colors. I could hear them again. Yeah, Frank, which one's orange again? Am I orange? Al? Now I'll never know. Aren't you coming to play croquet with everyone? I would already be ready if everyone would leave me be so I could finish getting dressed. Now, don't take this the wrong way from the dog who don't wear pants, but... What's missing? My bow tie. <gasps> Wally, don't look. He's indecent. Out. <laughs> Bye, Frank. <sighs> Howdy do, fellas. What can I get for you two today? Hiya, Howdy. Uh, I think we're going to enjoy ourselves the usual. My usual for my usuals? Come on right up, Pally. The usual. I thought we were getting hot dogs. That is our usual, little buddy. It means something you and me get all the time. Kind of like a morning perusal. Oh, you mean our walk? Yeah, but I like perusal better. Makes me feel like a fancy high-class pooch. A pedigree with some degrees, if you will. Oh. All righty. I got a bloodhound and whirlwind of trouble and an old reliable dog. So, what's the gap today, Bon? Well, I got a good one that's been brewing in this bottom of mine all oh. day. <clears throat> what do you call a caterpillar after a month-long nap? A butterfly. But if you ask me, I call the poor guy a doctor. That's a hoot. A holly, even. You always never disappoint. Hmm. Say, Wally, what about you? You got any silly yarns for me today? No, but I have a joke. <laughs> what did I tell you? He's a natural. And that was just a taste. Go on, kid. Okay. How does Barnaby eat his hot dog? I don't know. How? He relishes it. <laughs> he sure does. Boy, y'all getting the hang of this funny business, Walls. It won't be long before you're the one paid for these hot dogs. That's okay. I like when Barnaby buys them. It's like I said, howdy. We're a couple of usuals who know what we like. Blue don't actually have any blue pigmentation. They have to grow in soil that is basic as well, so the pie and straw should be left for the other beds. You're telling me that these flowers are liars, Frankie? <sighs> I'm not telling you that these flowers are liars, Barnaby. 
I'm talking about how these flowers are specially selected to look this way. Hey, being blue isn't anything special, pal. Don't you know that blue is all the rage nowadays? I don't think people are painting themselves blue, frankly. Are you saying your fur color isn't natural? I beg your pardon? I am a natural beauty as far as you know. <laughs> I doubt you're any sort of beagle. I've never seen any blue dog before in my life. Now, if you don't mind, we'd like to continue tending to my flowers in peace. You're gonna have to do more than tend to them if you want them to grow up nice and big. You know what they say, you gotta entertain your plants to make them happy. That's true, but I'm not going to let your snappy patter poison my petunias. I'd hardly call your material entertaining, much less fertilizer. Oh, don't you worry, Frank. The last thing I'll do is overwhelm your orchid. Your plants all seem cloverish. Ah, uh, Not with these puns again. You're going to make all of my hard work wilt. Your humor is too dry for my impatience. Hey, hey! Not a daisy goes by where you don't get impatient. But hey, I'm just pulling your leg. Uh, will you just get out of here? My plants don't need your ridiculous jokes to grow. Go find an audience for your silly gag somewhere else. All right, all right, I'll grow. Uh, but every dogwood has his day. Uh, I'll still pop in from time to time. Uh, you're still a little rough around the hedges. Uh, 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 honestly, with him. I don't know how you can stand to be around him. Well, I think I'm plenty funny, Barnaby. Frank thinks I'm a hoot and a half. Only a hoot and a half? What happened to the other half? <laughs> oh, you! Besides, Frank wouldn't know a good joke if it walked up to him, introduced itself, and handed him his business card. Punchline and all. He would, too. You know, Barnaby, you're not the only funny one in this neighborhood. Oh, yeah? You might be right, Julie. Howdy's a pretty funny fella, too. Not howdy me! I have a joke that will knock your hat off. I've been working on it all week! <laughs> oh boy, all week? It took you that long? <laughs> You're hearing this, little buddy? Don't! I'll show you, Barnaby! <clears throat> what did the number three say to the number two? After beating him in a game of checkers. Oh no, here he comes. I won! <laughs> that was just dumb. Gone terrible. Just awful. I think I'm gonna need a doggy bag. Oh, it was not Barnaby, it was a good joke. Don't you get it? One is a number, but it also sounds like one. You know, when you, like when you won a game. Oh, oh, oh. Now she's explaining it. Oh, when will the agony stop? I'm just a little pooch in peril. <sighs> Bury me in my favorite sunny spot, kid. I'm going into the light. Oh, Barnaby, you're just rotten. It was too a funny joke, wasn't it, Barnaby? <laughs> So my brother Charlie tells my sister Dolly that our brother Barley's cousin Henry is turning over a new leaf. But if you ask me, Bon, a caterpillar's always turning over leaves. We just call this salad. So you don't believe the poor guy? Sounds like you're just giving him the short end of the stick. Short end of the... We've given that clown the whole branch. So he's a clown too? Now you're speaking my language, Audi. You wouldn't believe what happened next. My brother Chuck wished our brother Buck good luck on getting that clock Henry to straighten up and fly right. Fly? Wait, wait, wait. He's a butterfly. I thought he was a caterpillar. <laughs> you're being a wise guy, Bon, but I'm serious. Then you're not going to believe this. Out of the blue comes our sister Sue and her brother Drew, talking to my sister Dolly about getting Henry on a trolley to see Aunt Molly. Wooly ain't Molly. Wooly Aunt Molly, Bon. On my father's left hand side. My left, not yours. Maybe my upper left hand side. Oh, 
Well, how could I get that confused? But long story short, Molly tells Henry to listen to our cousin Barley and my brother Charlie, who insist they're through with my sister Sue and her brother Drew. And to get back on that trolley and talk to Dolly about getting his act together. Oh, brother. No, no. Ollie's my sister. <laughs> I know I can always talk to you, Bon. I tell you, having a big family ain't easy. Too many things to keep track of. You're right about that. I'm just listening in and I can barely keep track. The only family I gotta keep track of is my dear sweet mama. That's right. You know, next time she comes around, you ought to let me serve her one of my strawberry soda pops. Nobody makes them like you do, pal. Uh, speaking of which, how's that drink treating you? Hey, hey, oh, I'm coming. Just be a sec, I'll be right there. Oh, no, 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 oh. Oh, good, not alive. Oh, I really ought to look where my feet are going, huh? Oh, hold on, buddy. These are yours. I'd forgotten I'd had them to give them out to you. Thank the stars I hadn't dropped nothing fragile. <sighs> Shoo-wee. I ain't had no idea how late it gotten. I'm plumb tuckered after all this running around. It ain't even the first time I fell today. Ran into a few buildings on the way here, too. You know how Julie likes to do her drawing on the sidewalks and all? Well, she drew up a hopscotch on the curb this morning, and I just couldn't help myself. I had to just have a hop, skip, and a jump to start my day. I really am accident prone, I figure, because my face ended up meeting the pavement. <laughs> I may have been a racket today and tossed around, but I'm still fair to middling. Even after that bowling ball order. I suppose I don't got much more running left to do today, though. Unless you got something for me to carry for you. Is there any leaded package or parcel you need me to run for you? Wait, what are you looking around me for? Mailman! man! Uh, you uh, got any packages for little old me? My kazoo collection should have been in my mailbox today. Where is it? Uh, uh, um, now, Barnaby, you know better. I have to put it in your mailbox. It's policy. You know a dog like me doesn't do policy, <laughs> pal. The only policy I follow is the greed all dogs follow. Chasing your local mailman. No, oh, I hate that policy. I'll beat you to your mailbox lickety split. If I don't split my lickety... <sighs> <sighs> I was this close to dogpiling him. Next time, don't give Eddie any hints. Eh? Oh Tells him, I'm just pulling your leg. Boy, you should have seen him home. I had the poor guy's head turning like a merry-go-round. Yeah, he's a real sourpuss. No wonder Julie can't tell a good joke. She's got a sense of humor only Frank could love. Did I tell you that joke she gave me? Something about a three that one? I ought to be a good Samaritan and teach her a thing or two about puns. What? You didn't like that one? I came up with that on the fly. That ought to be worth something. Yeah, speaking of flies, I know he's going on and on about his family today. The poor guy's got more family members than the caterpillar's got legs. And if I'm going out, he's, it's at least four. Hey, unless he's walking around on all fours like moi, then I don't count arms. That reminds me, hey, he's been getting better at running. Especially for a guy that's only got two legs. Still scares easier than my mama, though. And she's a real chicken. <laughs> hey, I chased him down for a good reason. Because Jews were supposed to come in today. Which they didn't. And if you think about it, I'm the poor guy that deserves an apology here. I ran after that mailman all through the neighborhood and with nothing to show for it. Yeah, yeah, real funny. A poor little guy like me deserves some sympathy. A clown without a kazoo is like... like an artist without his paintbrush. 
Go on, kid, tell him. Hello? Buddy? Bell? Hey, you stop beating. Everything all right? Mm.